Welcome back to Frozen's Education. This is Zach. Today I'm going to be giving an update on BNGO. You'll find the link to my previous DD in the description below. Make sure to share th this video if you like it, subscribe, and like to help this channel grow. So without further ado, I'm going to be going on through technical analysis, and then I'm going to go on towards news and the catalyst that is still going on, other than tomorrow's conference happening on August 3rd at the very end. First things first, you get to look in the MACD here. You can see uh, substantial growth happening from day to day ever since the reversal has been confirmed somewhere around 16th. It almost uh, gone a, quite a bit more negative uh, on the 8th, but it kind of pulled back in terms of reversal. So that's a good sign. Next one here is momentum. You get to see the stock is at a really high momentum, although the rate of momentum increase has decreased a little from the day before. William percent R put the stock yesterday at oversold, sorry, overbought. And then today is more a little bit on neutral, yet is still in the overbought region. Although we've seen that kind of pull back and then push forward multiple times before. Average directional index is a 47.43. Now the danger warning sign is a 50. So what we're looking here perhaps is one day more before it actually could dip based on the average directional index. Because uh, we're seeing an increase of two to three a day and you're sitting in around 47.43. The price is above the 200 SMA, which signals a bull run uh, that we've actually seen already. Above the 20 SMA and the 10 SMA is above the 30 EMA. So that's your moving averages look amazing in terms of this one. Now moving on towards the one hour intervals here. And what we get to see is that the MACD here has gone quite negative and it doesn't seem that it actually decreased a little. I mean, it, I think it might have in extended hours, but that uh, there's very little data here to determine that. Uh, but it seems that it has chosen to go through a reversal somewhere after 10 a.m. The price is under the, MA, uh, the VWAP, but here's the really nice part. The stock is in the trading action zone, and since it approached the trading action zone in a red kind of trend, a pullback, it has a high chance of reversing back upwards in the trading action zone, although the trading action zone is getting closer and closer to one another. What we could see is something very similar to what happened here, where it stays in the trading action zone and then it gets a reversal and then it gets above the trading action zone for a while. Uh, so I wouldn't be very much scared here. Uh, in terms of average directional index, as I said, above 50 is usually a warning sign, which we have received earlier today. But it re did retract around 47.23. So that could be a good sign where if a reversal is met, it might be a little bit short-lived up. Uh, uptrend uh, and i'll go on a little bit with other warning signs the stock seems to be oversold to neutral uh midday as well all all during the day except in the first uh, pre-market hours that's good here uh let's move on now towards uh the moving averages so you get to see here the one on the cn the price is significantly above the moving average uh, in terms of resistances and whatnot uh the stock there's a resistance that has been seen around a few months ago i think around back in before march around 101 uh following that we have another one around 0.92 and above uh, both of those around 0 0.109 just based on the one day charts here so take that with a little bit less accuracy uh, moving on towards different trends here, we're going to do quickly one, uh, one month, one hour period. Uh, what we get to see here is that there is an upper trend. Now, this trend is not per se following a specific tr uh, trend line. It still hasn't broken that trend line, though. Uh, we can say that this could be a trend line here where it still hasn't broken it. So that's a good sign. Uh, nothing significant here, but let's take a quick look into Fibonacci retracements and identifying the current support. So we have identified resistances. Uh, current support is sitting at 0.88 on the Fibonacci retracements, uh, following that 0.79 to 0.8 uh, based on Fibonacci and traditional. Now, as well as traditional, there is a pivot point somewhere around 0.81 to 0.84. Uh, and you get to see the next support is around 0.75, setting around 0.71 to 0.72, then following that around 0.66. Uh, the next resistance seems to be around 0.93, following that is a dollar around the Fibonacci retracements, and the following that is around $1.03. Now going on to the latest news, uh, things that I didn't cover or I've covered, but have uh, we've received updates in, uh, we have received updates since my last video. Now, uh, their their actual conference is to, uh, that they're actually working on is from July 20th to July 23rd. Now they haven't presented yet, so that might be good news there. It's for the Biopharmatics Core, uh, that's the organizer. And basically, it's just uh, there could be some news there regarding their uh, products as well as a bit more making people familiar with, with their work and stuff. So there could be some good news there. Usually, I sell before conferences myself. Uh, that's just my preference. Uh, just I don't like to take the risk. 
Now, there is news as well that came in two days ago about first publication from International Construm using bionano imaging in genetic disease. Patients demonstrates that bionanus uh, sapphire detects all 100 chromosomes or chromosal aberrations in 85 samples. And so what this basically simplifies to is that uh, I had it here actually. Uh, first large study in constitutional genetics disease showed 100% uh, concordance to all gold standards. Uh, so basically that's just good news. Their product works again as we know and is at a gold standard. Uh, what else are we looking at here? Uh, the next event that they're actually sponsoring is the Cancer Genom uh, uh, Genomics Construm on August 3rd to August 4th as Platinum Sponsor. So that could be another as well catalyst that people will pick on. Uh, just a quick warning sign here. Uh, I didn't see any, any institutional uh, buyers other than on the 20th. They did buy around 209,000 shares. Uh, I haven't seen any sa sales happening, although sometimes these things can be a little bit delayed all the way since the 15th. Uh, in terms of insider uh, transactions here, uh, we're looking at no new transactions coming in all the way from, uh, well, actually no, no purchases since 2018. So what I'm going to just be giving here a note quickly is just be careful here because this stock is one that pumpers really love, even though there's a lot to look into here and there's a lot of potential. Uh, you just want to make sure you don't get caught it buying at the top so my recommendation for this is if i am holding this i'll definitely hold and wait a little at least for tomorrow uh but i'll be considering to put a stop limit uh that's just been my that's what i would do so that you don't you're not obligated to do that let me know what you think about this stock down in the comments below make sure you share subscribe and like this video to help this channel grow and let, uh make sure to drop comments i usually very fast at answering them thank you very much and have a wonderful day